What is going on everybody? I am the GZ guy. Thanks for checking into the video. If you're new, thank you for stopping by. If you're one of my uh, subscribers, thank you so much for all your guys' support as we've been moving along in this journey. Really appreciate each and every one of you. So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and uh, pull this front grill off my car. I do have the aftermarket uh, carbon fiber grill on it, but she's getting kind of faded and having some problems with the clear coat. So I'm going to try my hand at sanding that down and shooting it uh, with some clear coat and see if we can get the shine back to it. Uh, going to be using some 2K clear, got the sandpaper, and for the guys and gals that follow me, you know I like my energy drinks. So we got some energy uh, drinks standing by as well because, you know, you got to be awake while you're doing your work, right? Um, also, I want to touch base on my last video. Uh, as you can see, the gauge mount, we got it here. She's all painted up, looking really good. Uh, to be honest though, I screwed up. So after I shot the video and whatnot, uh, I had let it dry a little too long before I went to put the next coat on and it did not adhere or take well because it was smooth. So I ran into some issues. So I had to sand everything back down and repeat the process so i just wanted to be honest with you guys and let you know uh how that went so again go through the process like we did don't let it dry all the way before you try to put that final coat on that was my mistake but again that's how we learn is by uh making mistakes so we know how to do it better next time right but overall turned out really good after i had to sand it back down and do the whole process so we will uh, be getting stuff ordered to do that later on down the road. Here is the problem. I'm going to order a new brake kit for this vehicle. Uh, if you remember in one of my past videos, we had that sticking brake caliper on the passenger side. We were able to render that issue. Unfortunately, the driver's side is now starting to do the same thing. My personal thoughts on that, I don't want to put the company that makes that brake kit down. Um, they may have improved their, their product since then. Uh, it's been about a year, two years since I had purchased that, this particular brake kit that's uh, currently on the car. But in that amount of time, we should not be having failure on both brake calipers, all right? But again, they may have improved. Uh, I, I'm not trying to put the company down, but I did go with the PowerStop SS kit and it's just, it's not meeting my needs and I'm not gonna keep going through the process of trying to fix the issue, do rebuild kits and all that. We are just going to go ahead and order a new uh, big brake kit for the car. Not 100% sure which kit I'm gonna get yet, but I am leaning towards uh, just doing the Akibono brakes, which are also available on like the uh, G37 Sport and the uh, 370Z Nismo. So I think that's the route I'm gonna go with it. Um, be more stopping power. It's a four piston in the front instead of the two and double in the back with bigger rotors. But once we decide which kit we're going to go with for sure, I will be sure to let you guys and gals know and we'll do the install and reveal and all that good stuff here on the channel. And uh, I'll give you all the specs at that point in time with, with uh, whichever kit we go with. So enough talking. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab a flathead screwdriver so we can get this grill removed. It's real simple guys we're just going to basically pop these clips out the girl will be on done on the top half whoops sorry about the filming there and then we'll pull it off we will take it down to the shop and start the process of sanding and uh, try to get it cleaned up and back to a, a nicer looking quality stand by for a second guys while i grab everything i need we'll get that pulled off and i'll see you in a second all right guys as you can see i've got it pulled off and set up there i just want to show you really quick uh, what it will look like once you have it off. It's a little bit different if you don't have a air uh, diversion panel on the car. Um, I've had people ask me actually how this installs. So as you can see, it's got the holes through it and it literally just mounts up underneath the grill and then the clips hold it on as well. So uh, I'll use this time too before we put the grill back on. I'm gonna get that clean back up underneath there. But this is what it's gonna look like on the front of your car once you pull your grill off if you're on uh, sure how to do it once again it's just going to be the clips across the front there's four of them so like on this one here just take a flathead very carefully place it up underneath 
and slightly pry up and then you can pull the clip out and you'll end up having like that right there. All right, and then reverse process, you'll have it where it's halfway up like that, set it down in the hole and then snap it down into place and that will hold your grill uh, back into place. And on the back side of it, you can see these little slots or uh, notches. They actually will slide in across the bottom there. Um, it's interesting. I've had times where this goes back on really easy and times where I struggle with it. So we'll uh, see how that goes once we get back to that portion of it. Let's go ahead and grab that. We'll head down to the shop and uh, start the process. All right, guys. So before I get to sanding, I'm going to go ahead and wipe this down, get it cleaned up all the way. Um, and then we'll start the sanding process and I'll show you that. I just wanted to really quick on a side note, I have the exhaust over here. Uh, I went through it just to make sure everything was there, see if I needed to get anything else. Um, I am going to, or actually already did today, uh, I ordered some uh, <clears throat> exhaust gaskets, header gaskets, stuff like that, just so when it comes time to do the install uh, here very shortly, we don't have any delays or anything like that. Like I had mentioned, I'm gonna be using my dad's buddy's shop. So I just wanna have everything ready and good to go so we can get the car in on the lift and get everything swapped out. So that is coming really soon. I'm super stoked for that. Um, so once those gaskets and everything get here, we'll get it scheduled up and uh, probably within the next couple weeks, that will be coming up on the channel and we'll do some before and after comparisons and stuff like that. So. Uh, sit tight for a sec guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get this prepped like I said So we can go ahead and uh, get start with the sanding and shoot it with the uh, 2k there and Hopefully not screwed up too bad. I've never sanded carbon fiber So it could be interesting Hang on All right guys, so there you go. I went ahead and sanded it. I didn't film that part I didn't figure you guys would want to see that but <clears throat> The next part, I'm gonna go and run a hose over it, get it wet, and this should come back, instead of that foggy look, clear like that. So if you get that clear look through it, again, this is just scuffed up and taking the clear off the top. So once we get everything done and cleaned up and then spray it, we'll have that nice uh, carbon fiber finish again. So I'm gonna go get that done. I'll be able to see also if there's any areas that I didn't get sanded well enough. Matter of fact, right here, I need to go back over that a little bit, I can see. And then once we get to that, I'll get it dry, show you what it looks like, and then I'll show you the process of laying on the clear coat. All right, guys, so I just ran a hose over it, still wet, haven't dried it yet. But as you can see, it's got the nice look to it, and I can see where there's a couple areas through there that I still need to uh, sand a little bit more and clean up where it didn't go through just enough. And that's actually in the resin um, from the original uh, clear coat. So you don't wanna go too far through from my understanding. Again, this is my first time working with carbon fiber, um, but we need to go just a little bit more cause you can kind of see little chunks where it went through that. Um, but you don't wanna go all the way down to the, uh, the fiber itself. So give me a sec, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and we'll check back in. All right, guys, so I uh, went over it with the towel really quick. It is starting to dry. So I'm gonna let it finish its process of drying. As you can see, it's starting to kind of get a hazy look to it. That's what you want. Um, so don't be worried when you start to see that. It's gonna have a nice kind of a, a foggy look, if you will, to it. <clears throat> and then we'll respray it. Uh, I got most of that out. Again, it's down in the resin. So I don't wanna go too much deeper than that. Um, but it's, it's actually coming out halfway. Okay. Again, it's my first time working with carbon fiber, uh, doing this. So I'm going to let it dry for a few, then we'll get it over here. I got that set up and we'll uh, spray it and I'll let you guys know how it's looking. All right. All right, guys. So I'm getting ready to activate the 2k clear. That's what this red piece that is in the cap is. You pop that out and then on the bottom you activate it. Um, like I said, I've done some paint stuff in the past. Nothing super overly in depth. Um, I know I kind of mentioned it in my last video, but go check out more motorsports guys. He really knows his stuff and he knows his products and what to use and when and how. Um, and I've learned a lot of 
the stuff I'm trying from watching his videos and I've had success. So definitely go give him a, uh, a like, subscribe, and all that good stuff, guys, and check out his videos. As you can see, she is getting dry and hazy, so I'm going to go ahead and activate that and start spraying it, and I'll let you guys know how it's going. All right, guys, so got it activated, shook it up, got the first coat on, uh, did a couple test sprays across the front there just to make sure everything was working. So you can see it's starting to gloss back up. Um, I got a couple dimples in it, which I'm hoping uh, will fade out, but we'll let this tack up a little bit and put one more coat on it. But definitely brought back the uh, the glossy shine. Um, it's kind of hard to see here in the lighting, but again, it's my first time doing this, so if I screw it up too badly, uh, I'll just order a new grill. That was kind of my thought process anyway. Um, but I wanted to try this, and I figured why not? Since I was uh, thinking about buying a new grill, might as well experiment with the one I have, and you know I can run it until I get it. It just may not look the best, but, you know, it doesn't look horrible, so stand by, guys. We'll let that dry out here for a few and get one more coat on it, and I'll check back in. All right, guys, so got the second coat on. Going to let that dry uh, overnight, and then tomorrow I will finish up this video. So when you see it, it will be the next day. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Definitely don't be like me. Be smart. <laughs> Wear a respirator. This stuff is extremely extremely potent smelling and I am doing everything wrong in an enclosed space with not great ventilation so keep that in mind don't be like me um but overall I'm happy with it I didn't expect perfection like I said it's my first time uh working with uh carbon fiber like that and it's kind of hard to see with the lighting the way it is but it doesn't look too bad um once it dries I think it will look even better so we will let this sit overnight, dry, and I will show you guys uh, in the morning what we have. All right, guys, so this is part two uh, from where you just saw. This is actually the next day, so we got the grill finished up over here. It actually turned out really good. Let me show you. So there you have it. It's nice and glossy again and clear. Uh, there is a couple areas where, like I said, into the resin itself, couple of slight marks but actually it's better than it was originally um yeah i'm actually really happy with how this turned out and didn't do too bad of a job surprisingly um so yeah definitely we'll keep rocking this uh grill for a while and uh see how well this holds up uh i'm gonna go ahead before i put it back on the car uh i reached out to a buddy of mine uh, you can check him out over on instagram or here on YouTube, uh, his Instagram is no handles, and YouTube is Greg Thomas, but he does uh, auto body and all that good stuff. So I had a quick chat with him just to double check, so I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, buff this out and wax it really quick before I put it on the car just to help protect it. So let me uh, grab this, we'll head back down to where my car is parked and get it put on. All right, guys, so if you remember yesterday, I said I was going to take the opportunity while I had the front off, or the grill, not the front, sorry, to uh, clean up the uh, air diversion panel. So we got that all cleaned up and shined back up, looking good. So we'll get that back on with the grill. I also took time to go ahead and just go through and clean up uh, the shroud or the plastic up around where the uh, grill mounts and my hood latch and all that. Just, you know, when you have these things apart, might as well clean the areas you typically don't get into. Matter of fact, before uh, I move any further forward, looking here, I'm going to clean up the horns and the rest of that down there since I'm looking at it. And then we'll uh, get that grill back on. I'll be right back. All right, guys, there you have it. The grill and air diversion panel are reinstalled back on the car. Fresh, clear coat on the grill. Looking good. Has a nice shine back to it. I'm actually uh, pretty happy with the way it turned out overall. I'm going to go ahead, take the rest of my time here, get the rest of the engine bay cleaned up and looking good. With that said, guys, I'm going to end the video. I just want to say thank you again to all my subscribers. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing if you enjoyed the video. Uh, before I get off here, I just want to let you guys know, I was discussing yesterday, ordering a big brake kit for this car. And I did. So, if you guys are interested to see what we're throwing on the car and going to want to watch out install, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. So when it gets here, you'll be the first to know, the first to see it. With that said, guys, remember, be kind to each other, 
Take it easy. I'll catch you on the next one.